Hi, Dr. Mosh. Hey there, girl. How are you doing? All is well. Just wanted to check in. You know, we are constantly trying to support the community and staying healthy and making sure that our families are making healthy and wise choices. We do know that people have to go out to go to the pharmacy, grocery store, some doctor's appointments. What are some of the things that we can do to protect ourselves? Sure. That's always a timely consideration, especially as we start to move forward. And going out is something that we really should do and, and not have a spirit of fear. We have to feel comfortable that we can take care of ourselves and that we know what to do with just some very easy, basic steps. First and foremost, wearing a mask is not something that we should be ashamed of or feel bad about. And likewise, we shouldn't shame somebody if they don't have a mask, because many times that may be the case. But that certainly helps keep the germs in and, and certainly may, to a large extent, protect us from some germs that we might be exposed to. If I had to pick a second thing, it would be wearing gloves. There's some people that have them or wearing them. I'm certainly seeing many businesses starting to provide them. And I really don't have a problem with them. I don't think they're mandatory. But for sure, if you have them, we tell people, please be kind to the grocery workers and don't just throw them in the parking lot or leave them in the shopping cart put those in the trash so that somebody else doesn't have to come and pick them up. If there were a third thing, certainly some people may have hand sanitizers and keep that with them because sometimes there may not be a fountain around or something that you can wash your hands with, but certainly uh, having that available when you wanna wipe your hands down and things like that and don't have soap and water, that's also very helpful and a, and a good recommendation. Thank you. And so then what should we do when we're preparing to come back into the house? Sure. Many of us are doing a disinfecting process and some are more extensive than others. Um, there's no wrong in certainly making sure that we wash our hands at a minimum. Grandma always said that that was a really good thing to do. We should wash our hands and maybe take off our shoes and leave them at the door. Um, I've seen that many times people do have a change of clothes or will take it to the next level and actually go and take a shower. And that certainly can make sense when you're coming in and you've been out, especially a long day or various different places on public transportation, out and about in the community. So taking a shower is certainly a good thing. And with respect to any items that we may have gotten in the grocery store, for example, I see that many times, and certainly grandma did this too, we wash them down. So if you have food, especially if it might be grapes or something that you're going to touch like that and, and eat right off, washing that is a good idea because even with respect to items that we may have taken off the shelf, somebody's touched that and maybe a few more people before that as well. So I've seen people use different things to disinfect, but soap and water is certainly very easy and other people sometimes may even use vinegar. These are just natural, simple ways to keep our items clean and make sure that we're trying to take care of ourselves and get rid of any germs that might be lingering about. Any additional tips, Dr. Mosh? Sure. Well, certainly I feel you can never be too safe for sure, but we don't want to really function or come from a spirit of fear. We really want to have confidence that if we take reasonable precautions and again, really avoid calling other people out or being upset because we may not know the circumstances that they come from. All these items do have a cost. Um, it's very easy for us to run out. Even as a healthcare provider, we've had our challenges getting a hold of masks, for example. And um, we understand that the public may certainly have challenges with that. There are different masks that people can wear in general, as long as you're wearing something, it's better than not. And so again, we don't need to feel bad that we may not have the fanciest mask or designer mask, but that's certainly something that I think we should get used to seeing as we head into the rest of the year and something that it's okay for us to wear. And again, I say, you know, let's wear it with pride. Thank you so much, Dr. Mosh. We appreciate you stopping in and giving the tips always. Sure, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for having me.